and welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons. Sean Edwards is off to Hollywood to bring us a uh, interview with Dwayne Johnson, but he'll be back with us soon. And in the meantime, I have my flare on. This is not Chief's flare today. This is Lyle Lyle Crocodile flare, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So what do you get when you combine an intriguing story, great cast, impressive production values, and a top-notch director? Well, in the case of Amsterdam, you get a real mess. Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, and John David Washington lead a terrific ensemble in David O. Russell's bold experiment, Gone Awry. It's a murder mystery, period drama, comic romantic triangle, war film, and a political cautionary tale all rolled into one. Amsterdam tries to be too much and winds up being not enough. Sean says, quote, Amsterdam is a hot mess. Nothing works as director David O. Russell wastes a stellar cast. True enough, I'm giving it two popcorn bags, but Sean's only willing to give Amsterdam one popcorn bag. And now, Lyle Lyle Crocodile is a musical adaptation of the beloved children's books about the adventures of a performing reptile who lives with a nice family in Manhattan. Javier Bardem leads the cast as a down and out magician, and Sean Mendez provides the singing voice of the CGI produced title character. This family friendly fantasy is harmless and aims squarely at the very youngest movie going demographic. Others beware. Sean says it's harmless fun for the very, very, very young at heart. Three popcorn bags for me, and Sean agrees. Three popcorn bags for Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Although it's the 11th entry in the grisly horror franchise that started in the 1980s, the new Hulu offering Hellraiser is a reboot that goes back to Clive Barker's original story. It's about a puzzle box that unleashes sadomasochistic beings from another dimension who don't discern between pleasure and pain. This gory entry is well made and unsettling, a twisted and perverse assault on the senses for genre fans. Sean says it's gruesome and gory, pushes the limits as it attempts to bludgeon the viewer with hardcore imagery. I'm giving it three popcorn bags and Sean agrees. Three popcorn bags for Hellraiser. You can see all of our reviews and interviews with Hollywood's biggest stars at fox4kc.com slash screening room. Go to our YouTube page or uh, give us a like on our Fox 4 Screening Room Facebook page for all of the inside movie scoop. And that's where we often give away movie passes, so check it out. And that's it for this week, guys. Yeah, Russ, I oh. was just telling Nick about Amsterdam. I can't, I, how did you mess that up? How did David O. Russell swing and miss on that one? He just tried to do too much, I'm afraid, and too much wound up being not enough. Taylor it's, Swift is in the movie too, right? There's so many people. There's a great, great cat. Robert De Niro. Yeah. And, and Chris Rock and a lot of really, really good people, but they wasted their time, unfortunately. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. All right. Good stuff. Thanks, Russ. You bet.